guys. This is a uh, quick one uh, on pressing and how um, we need to be organized uh, in our press at the 7v7 level. One of the things that, that I've noticed over the last couple of weeks um, with, with my U9s, um, and they're, they're actually U8s playing up, but um, we've been pretty disorganized when we're pressing, and, and we haven't really worked on pressing. I, I tend to try to work on when we have the ball mostly and not when we don't have the ball, but I wanted you all um, to watch this quick video just, just so we are all on the same page with how we're going to press. So we are the blue team, and this is how we should be lined up on our opponent's goal kicks when we're going to press, um, which is going to be every time, but um, there may be some times when we don't press. But um, anyway, the, the nine should be right on the build-out line in the middle. Our outside midfielders should be on their side of the field on the build-out line. Our central midfielder should be just behind the nine. Okay, I don't need the central midfielder here. I don't need them here. I need them directly behind the nine here. And then our two center backs need to be um, basically right between this nine. And if the nine is um, closer to one side, that center back needs to be right on his back. Okay, we need to be central. Um, now, if the nine play, gets, plays way up here, um, then I'll talk about what we do for that. But I don't think that's that's likely to happen. Um, most of the time, what's going to happen is you're going to see the nine back in here. And then the two center backs have to communicate about you know, who's going to take him. And we'll talk about who that is um, based on what happens. So let's just play this out. Um, what we have here is the ball going to their right center back. So when the ball, and that's typically what's going to happen unless they, they kick it out here or something, but um, just for the purposes of this video, I've arranged the attacking team in a, in a, in a, in a pretty organized shape. Sometimes, um, as we know, that's not the case, but um, the good teams will be organized. So just for the purposes of this discussion, um, this is kind of how I lined them up. Wherever the ball goes, the nine, our striker, goes and tries to win the ball. Okay, and they have to take an angle that will what I call cut the field. So the ball's gone over to the right. Our nine needs to take an angle that looks like this. Okay, come over here so this, this player can't dribble or pass back to the other side. We want to keep them over here. All right, so if you play the striker, you're going to be on the build out line. Wherever this ball goes, you go towards the ball and you go in an angle that keeps them on that side. Okay, that's the role of the nine. And if you can go win this ball, go win this ball. The outside midfielder on the side the ball's gone to needs to stay and come up a little bit, but needs to stay in this space. All right? I don't need our outside midfielder coming here with the nine. All right, That's a recipe for a problem because if this ball somehow gets out here or gets out here, then we have these massive spaces that are wide open. All right, So the outside midfielder needs to pretty much stay, come up a little bit. Um, and the six, the six needs to come in but again, needs to watch for anybody, especially their central midfielder, and stay with and stick with them. So if their central midfielder starts coming over here, we need to press in here. If their central midfielder just stays, then we can pretty much just stay. Okay. Um, the outside midfielder on the opposite side needs to cinch in. So it needs to come over here and cinch in like this. All right. The now the center backs here have to watch this nine. If the nine starts creeping over, which is likely in a good team, the center back on the side the nine's coming to has to step to him. And the center back on the opposite side needs to press or needs to squeeze in here. All right. So this is pretty much what our press should look like. Um, what what I saw a lot this weekend, uh, last couple weekends, is that we would would have the ball would go out to one of their center backs and we would surround them like this. And this is not what we want to do because you can see if this ball somehow gets here, if it somehow gets here, they're pretty much off to the races and we're in big trouble. Okay. The other thing that we have to be careful of is our center backs just staying way back here. Okay. And allowing this nine, because even, even if we're in the right spots like this, if the center backs don't either communicate with the six or don't come. So if the nine stays up here, the five has got to come over here and the four needs to cinch in. Okay, we can't leave massive gaps in between our lines, in between the mid the midfielders and the and the center backs. All right, so just one more time, so everybody understands the coordinated press that we have here um, at at the seven v seven level, and I'm just going to run it back out the other side now, um, just just to clarify. 
So the ball is played into uh, the left center back, the five, and then um, the nine takes, takes an angle to press like this. The two has to stay on this side, press this guy. The six comes up, but again, the six doesn't come up in here to take this ball. The six comes over here. If their nine starts sliding, the four steps, the five cinches over, and the outside midfield on the opposite side cinches over like this. And we really don't worry much about these two guys over here, okay? If we're playing a team that, that's really good and they start switching the field, I can talk about um, what we're gonna do, but, but, but basically we're in a good position even if that happens to recover here. Again, but what we don't want, we can't have everybody going towards the ball. This is a big problem for us. Um, if this happens, it leaves all this space in here um, for the ball to either click out here and the three is gone, or to, to slide out here and then the six has got tons of space in the middle of the field. And now they're coming, which is gonna cause our center back to have to step. And now they've got two V two, okay, which we don't want. Um, so again, guys, this is just, like I said, I wanted to do a quick video about pressing and the coordinated press that we're gonna have. There's gonna be a lot more um, sort of complications to this um, as, as we talk about the different types of, of traps and things like that. But just so everybody understands how we're pressing, um, it's the nine goes to the ball, the outside midfielder on the side that the ball's gone, gotten to stays and especially tries to press anybody wide. And the, um, our, our central midfielder um, stays central and, and presses anybody that comes central and moves with their central midfielder as needed. The outside midfielder on the opposite side presses over, or um, cinches over, and the two center backs, they have to coordinate their dealing with, the, with the, the, the opponent's striker up top. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Talk to you later.